I'm the fourth generation on this farm. Years ago, we used to process and bottle milk, and my dad really did deliver the milk to town before he went to school, and as kids, we always heard about that story. So it's, it's farming has just been in my blood for all these years. The farm back in the 40s was a typical farm of that time where it had beef cattle and pigs and chickens and cows. And then in the early 50s, my dad bought his first registered Holsteins and we've just always had registered Holsteins ever since then. My husband and I have worked together for 38 years. In 1981, her parents asked us if we'd like to take the farm and we said yes, not knowing any better. And we built a tie stall barn, bought 60 cows, and uh, started dairying. We operated at roughly that level up till 2001. Then we began uh, an internal expansion, just internal herd growth, and grew into a freestall barn that we built in stages. And at this point, we're at 210 cows, twice a day milking, 28,000 pound herd average. There's never been any uh, off-farm income here. Uh, this is our livelihood, and we've both been full-time participants, full-time partners. We divide the decision-making and all the important stuff we decide together. I like work where you can see the results of your effort, and farming is that in spades. So I, I get great satisfaction out of that, and uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. The cows that we're breeding today are certainly a lot different than they were even as I was as a kid. We're much more conscientious of looking for longevity in that cow. If you don't have the perspective of having done this for a lifetime, I don't know that you can appreciate just how far we've come in the improvement of the Holstein cow. It's just a given now that when you freshen a two-year-old Holstein, she's gonna have a good udder, she's gonna have good feet and legs, she's gonna be very productive. That was not a given 35 years ago, so there's been tremendous advancements in genetics. We treat our cows extremely well. We take care of them probably better than we take care of ourselves. It's very important to vaccinate your animals because if they stay healthy, then they're gonna make more milk. So we are very conscious of trying to keep healthy animals around here. Through the fall and the winter, pneumonia is a concern in animals, uh, mostly in our calves. So we use a Merck product called Vista where we are vaccinating our calves to help prevent respiratory diseases. We use the Vista modified live vaccine because we feel at a young age it gives better protection against diseases versus using a killed vaccine, which is what we usually use later on in an animal's life. So the modified live early on is providing better protection for that calf. What keeps me going? I enjoy feeding those calves, knowing that they're the future of this farm and making sure that they get a good start in their life. And I think the other thing that keeps me going is the fact that I know that I'm contributing to our society by providing them the food that they need to survive today. So that's what keeps me going. Visit thebestdefense.com to learn more.